first met? We first met in the meadow, years ago now, in Alaska, my home, in a small fishing town. The town had been built on the small island just a quarter mile from the mainland. I was raised on the mainland. How many years has it been? Since we first met, 36 years. Since I was born, 33 years. And your parents? You've spoken so highly of them, though I have never had the pleasure to meet both of them or either of them. They were quite old by the time I was born. In fact, they were short on time. As brilliant botanists, they had dedicated their lives to preserving and fostering the world's most unusual plants. The world of florals was all they had known. And so through the science of the cosmos, my parents grew me as one would grow plant from a seed, for my seed was their thought. Celio. I was literally, not figuratively, conceived in a mason jar. You are most handsome when you speak. Never, never stop speaking with me, my love. Never, please. Never again. I have learned to care for you as my own. Go on. Tell me how we found ourselves here in India. You would have adored my mother. Sadly for Papa, my de-aged quickly after my birth. They had only moments together with me. Ma's funeral was intimate. Pa hadn't wanted the townspeople to know of her unique passing. But soon after we spread her leaves into the bay, my father began to de-age rapidly as well. Within only days, I was caring for a small elderly man. And in hours, I was alone. But are you really? Are any of us truly alone? You are correct, Celio. Like the great redwoods, our roots are all entangled in the history of this planet. And as I approached the pier, I was astonished to learn that the entire town had heard of Mother's passing, and now have all gathered awaiting Pa's passing. townspeople were kind, delivering me food weekly. I needed no schooling because Ma had made sure that even as an infant, I could easily read and soon study on my own off of their complete library of all things needed to know and care for something bigger than us all. Even as a boy, he was such a romantic. Apparently helpless as well. You said that when we first met, I was lost. I was unable to read alone in the home. I couldn't bring myself to water even one plant that first week, so I did something I had never done before. I walked into the woods behind the greenhouse. How is a child supposed to raise himself? I feel like a boy, but my mind thought like an old man.
before I met you. You would see a deer that looked like an owl, that looked like a deer. You remember. Of course I do. Please, Botanist, go on. I am in the most marvelous dream. Of course I do. Please, Botanist, go on. All I knew was the thoughts of the wisest. Now, here I was, merely three years old, alone, until I found you. No, my love, I found you. You knew not what you were looking for. You knew nothing beside your own uniqueness. My thoughts found you. You were so small then, just a sprout. But I could hear you so clearly. You were whistling a song. I whistled with you. Then, you taught me how to see the words I read. An irresistible meal in every cover. And you told me how to see those letters and what they truly meant. I consumed so much of your adolescence, so much so you educated yourself beyond my visions. I did. It was a destiny of sorts, wouldn't you say? They came for me once you left me full mouth. I want a full team out there. Deliver the package to the UP. We'll run the lab work there. Go, go. My roots know not what it means to wander without sight, without the soil to complete my everything. The flesh of me is not without the soil. Do you truly believe, still, that yours is not of this earth? That you, botanist, love of my life, that you are not dependent upon your intimacy with the soils? waters, chemicals, and elements of this earth as a fragile, as a fragile flower. Go, go. What do you suppose it is? We'll run the lab work. But it's quite unusual. Go, go. What do you suppose it is? What do you suppose it is? We'll run the lab work. But it's quite unusual. I'm not so sure, definitely organic, but we'll run the lab work, but it's quite unusual.
Those times, these days, are present with the ocean pumps to lower the sea levels. deforestation. shift in the food. keep on melting like ice on the pavement and if the heat isn't bad enough in the southern states they're all nearly flooded people joke at least the mosquitoes don't have standing water to land in here in india the mosquitoes are as prevalent as ever they serve a purpose who mosquitoes well they're pesty nonetheless pesty it means to annoy, but I guess as you say, with a purpose. And that's how the adults saw the kids. Pesty. Pesty with their protests. Pesty with their pleas that we save the world. Where there once was water, now there's dried lake beds and natural wonders left for dead. on the pavement. The chickens lost, unable to save their eggs. Kids don't bite my apple. The only game show that gives you the innocence of childhood as you devour your opponent before they eat your apple. We've entertained ourselves with game shows of ignorance. <laughs> Students call for our attention first. These young minds covered the streets with their well-purposed angst toward the lack of food and the ignorance that allowed all the crops to die. Students call for our attention for in the streets with their well-purposed angst toward the lack of food the lack of food for nearly everyone. Don't bite my apple, the only game show that gives you the innocence of childhood as you devour your opponent before they eat your apple. Good as you sharded.
covering the streets with their well-purposed angst toward the lack of food. It was undeniable, still is, that we were all going to starve, if anything, and we're acting in response to a basic need, a need that feeds chaos if left to its own devices. The heat has gotten unbearable and the yolk just oozes from a non-protective shell. It's as if the only water left is a salted ocean in the tears of our children. Where there once was water, now there's dried lake beds and natural wonders left for dead. Months before I returned is when the satellites began to fall. Daily. From May until late July, we feared the worst to normalize the new metals reigning upon us. The tornadoes are what has ruined most of the American countryside by now. People tumble upwards with their cars and friends and friends and their cars come to a tumbling, tumbling down with the satellites. Satellites that used to give us service and now just harden molten metals and microchips and our children watch as our elders. My generation and on battled and crowded and covered each other, covered each other for the nibbling of a rotten plate of cheese curd. I was happy to be found, to be recruited, to once again be able to talk to you. The protesters have grown tired, exhausted by our ignorance and dependence on the ignorance of our forefathers and the freedom to kill instead of nurture. They wanted to know what it was that made you so unique. I faked it for long enough. I knew soon enough we had to get away. I needed to travel. You needed to see what only I could show you. Thank you.
you get me down to Chicago? We made a pointless set of stops to the bureaucracy of novel ideas. We know all about it. There's no time left for failure. Those aren't the results I have. No, I don't want to look at her. She's... She's stolen. <laughs> stolen property. Stolen? Might we recommend you take a holistic approach to your feudal... Stolen? Isn't everything in science stolen? Might we recommend that you take a holistic approach to unanswerable requests of established reputations like ourselves? How are you supposed to play a gap from there to them? Stolen. Isn't everything in science stolen? How do you suppose a plant got from there to them? They've closed themselves off to us. They see no value in sustaining a singularity. And so I took you across the pond. So I recommend and we cross the pond. Seek a culture older in nature, wiser in failures, that might be interested in the sights I've shown them. And the information you are capable of instilling in me. Please escort yourself out. We know where she came from. No, thank you. But London was abandoned. The remaining millions rushing the underground to tunnel to the mainland. Please, no, excuse me, please, no, my apologies. Ma'am, you, no identifications, no thank you. This is chaos. This might be a dead end for us, but if we can't go this way, I'm not sure where we should go. We have to get to France at the least. We must get on mainlands. If isolation was what you needed, then we'd have gone home. Despite the unity amongst the Union, the French authorities could not withstand the oversaturated migration of terror and desperation from the English island. Paris is always on fire, but now the fire is on Paris, and the coals are too hot for anyone anymore.
We left the flames behind, across the quiet country, seeing no more than one or two satellites fall from a distance. a holy city of men, barehanded, with nothing left to lose, beat upon each other in the streets, gladiators each. <laughs> were overstocked as to be expected, but our message to a family friend had been received and our nephew had shown to direct us to the boat we took to Greece. 
hard to have left him in Rome, yet he was unable to comprehend your thoughts, and his relation was that of a guide in a world desperate for everything you have to offer, but blind to want any of it for all instead of themselves. Even the boy who directed us safely to Greece, even he will return to Rome and argue in the streets as we trek along the nearly barren Red Sea to Yemen. Beans for a flight over the fire fields of sand over Sri Lanka to the last quaint site on the planet, Cambodia. Quiet land left for the seekers and lovers of their forgotten fields. It was here we were told to seek another level of information, leads about your being, your source, and how we, together, could activate your beauty. But we were not here for that. We were still in tow of this discovery phase of our relationship. left me alone again. We were in a small Korean village. If anything, they would have insisted I wasn't seeking the knowledge, but retrofitting the knowledge yet again. I had to go alone. I'm looking for a soil as salty as the sea and as yellow as the deep. Sea and as yellow as the soil as salty as She understood me completely. Your poetry intrigued her, awoke in her own fascination with the earth. I'm soil soil as, salty as, as salty as the sea and then she showed me here. She had read my thoughts in a similar fashion as when you first taught me how to read the numbers and the words as I read anything from a book to a leaf. You were ashamed? Did you need to get another mentor? And as yellow as the deep. No. You may be correct. I thought that as we were forced to bus across China to make our supposedly final stop at the Ganges. This bus ride here, I believe I slept most of the time. I knew it was going to be a hard ride as we waited at the bus stop. None of those elderly people needed to make a pilgrimage out of their quaint village. There they had food, water, shelter. Most of the town was old. Yet they watched the satellites every night, night after night, frozen in fear that soon enough it would rain upon their small town. The satellites were most frequent along the skyline. 
These were no longer considered the friendly skies as it rained upon the entire country. I was certain most would pass by the time we crossed out of the body of China, so I slept. Like the jungles we've been through to finally find us here. Hopeless, lost in the lost path, and here with you, alone in this hotel. sleep and tomorrow we'll wander along the water. We have an owl botanist. Our very own owl. Our very own owl. botanist, our very own owl.
I have yet to feel lost until now. What I mean is, here with all these people, I just don't know who I am anymore. Who? asked the owl. If you are not alone, mm -hmm. botanist, then who? Who are you? <laughs> These performers, honest. Who? Who are they? Performers. I believe they're believers. They're meditating. No, my dear friend. I can read all in their thoughts. They are not religious. They are tricksters. who keep counting their money in their mind. Tricksters, botanist. Tricksters. We must keep walking. Yeah. Yes. We're just not where we're supposed to be. Quite yet. This I know. This you know. So, so many different people. So sad. So sad.
is here with these zealots who believe that they will find us. Slow down. Here. Our map is here. Here it'll find us. Here. Pause here. तुमने मुझे ढूंढ लिया मुझे अपना अनुसरण करने के लिए मिला जहाँ तक मेरी जड़े एक बार फिर मिट्टी के लिए तड़पेगी आना आपने मुझे अपना अनुसरण करने के लिए पाया When you speak, I hear nothing. I hear nothing. Then we might hear him.
everything stops. Our guide, our map, has become idle. Without purpose. यहाँ मेरे कोमल सूखे पैरों को एक बार फिर से खुद को जड़ देना चाहिए यहाँ इस जगह पर किसी और ने नहीं बल्कि सभी ने चुना है तुम्हें वहाँ जाना चाहिए जहाँ पर्वत अपना प्रतिबिंब देखता है वहाँ आपका सहयोग अच्छे के लिए खिलेगा so easy for you and I in hindsight. However, now I must be honest. Is there any question that has you doubting our final steps? Yes, I finally do. I thought when we were discarded by my colleagues that there was a test inside 
their despondent interest in my perspective. That, that was in itself a test. But it wasn't, Celio. That was just a path with yield signs. This, at this moment, I truly feel tested. This, at this moment, I truly feel tested. I truly feel tested. I truly feel tested. Finality. Botanist, I do not have the feet of an agori. My roots are of the ocean, beneath the soiled sands, crushed into a granite, where I seek sulfurs to evolve. Both are intelligence. What do I know, botanist? I am merely a fragile flower. Soil and as salty as the sea, and as yellow as the deep. He said, Here, where the mountain sees itself, I will plant you here, and only here will I say goodbye to you and hello to everything else for the sake of the living and death of tomorrow and not today. Goodbye, my love, Celio. Safe travels amongst the pandas of the sky and the children when they are. Botanist, may I make a request of you? Yes, Celia. You don't have to ask. Yes, but it is an unusual request. After all this, you have an unusual thought? A request. Go ahead, ask me. Will you tell me what you dream about? But you know all my dreams. You know my thoughts as I have them. Yes, but when you speak, I hear nothing. Your honesty is no different than your words. Therefore, when you speak, I hear nothing. Why have me tell you about my dreams if you cannot hear or see them? It is silence. All there is for me is to see you. And even that, I must imagine. Because then, it is then that I can imagine. My dreams. I have had only one dream, I suppose. It takes me to an atmospheric evolution. To an atmospheric evolution. My roots are at the ocean, beneath the soiled sands, crushed into a granite, where I seek sulfurs to evolve both our intelligence. Because then, Bottoms, it is only then that I can imagine my dreams, imagine, my dreams, imagine, my dreams, imagine, my dreams, my dreams, my dreams.
Mama, I trade the odd. Put the gun down, Mr. President. We're at war.